Welcome back, Faith Warriors of God. Faith Warrior Brother checking right back in here with you. I just want to pick up where we left off. It's either Jesus or nothing. It's either Jesus or nothing. Today, we're going to go to a couple of scriptures where we see where God himself is testifying that Jesus Christ is his son. Now, if God himself is testifying that Jesus Christ is his son, who are we to say that Jesus Christ is not his son? It is insulting to God for us not to believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God when God himself said that Jesus Christ is his son. We need to choose to believe in the Bible and not choose to believe in man. Man is going to tell you what they want you to hear so you can feel good about yourself. Okay, but it's time for us to truly believe in what the word of God is saying. God said Jesus Christ is his son. We're going to go to some scriptures. Let's go to the book of first John chapter five, verses nine through 10. Okay, King James version. And let's see what the word of God says. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. But this is the witness of God, which, which he, the father, okay, has testified of his son. He that believeth on the Son of God has the witness in himself. He that believeth not God has made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God, the Father, gave his Son. So we see in this passage that God testifies that he gave his Son for God so loved the world, right? That he gave his only begotten Son, See, that whosoever believeth in him, the son, shall have everlasting life. So, Jesus Christ is a son of God. He is a lamb of God that was slain for the foundation of the world. Okay, he was a lamb of God that was slain and, and, and was crucified and was sacrificed for our sins. He is the son of God. He is the Christ. He is the Messiah. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He is the way, the truth and the light. He is a bright and morning star. Hallelujah. He is the anointed one. He is the son of God. He sits on the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Jesus is the son of God. Let's see what it says in the book of St. Matthews, chapter 17, verses 5. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. So we have God the Father saying this to Peter, because Peter was the one when it said why he yet spake. Peter was Peter was telling Jesus, should we build a tabernacle for, for you and for Moses? Right? And then it says, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Again, we see where God is testifying that Jesus is his son. That is one of the foundations of the Christian belief. If we don't believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, we are doomed. We are doomed. He that believes that Jesus Christ is the son of God has both the, the father and the son. But if you reject Jesus Christ, you're rejecting the father. You can't say I love the father, but I, I don't believe Jesus Christ is the son of God. Because Jesus Christ is the son of God, they are in unity. They work as one in unity. Hallelujah. We have to serve God. You can only escape hell, okay? You can only escape hell by the gift of eternal life. And this gift is given to all true believers. And this gift of eternal life is in Jesus Christ. Let's see what the Bible says again. Let's see what the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 5. Verse 11 and 12. Look at what it says again about Jesus Christ being a son of God and how God given his, gave his son. Look at what it says. And this is the record that God, talking about the father, 
has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. You see that? So eternal life is in Jesus Christ, the son of God. I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. So there will be no misunderstandings. Listen to what the Bible says. I'm going to read it again. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life, right? But how do we get eternal life? Here it is. And this life is in his son. Jesus Christ is the source of eternal life. We cannot have eternal life without having Jesus Christ in our life. Jesus Christ paid the ultimate price for our sins, didn't he? If you reject Jesus Christ, you are lost. If you don't believe that he's the son of God, you are lost. If you don't believe in his death, burial, and resurrection, you are lost. If you don't even believe in his birth, you are lost. Please, I plead with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Please repent. Believe in Jesus Christ, whom God has sent to die for your sins. Please. Let's continue to read. And it says in verse 12, he that has the son hath life. And he that has not the son of God has not life. We need Jesus. Can you see that? God said, this is my son. Who are you going to believe? You going to believe in man? Why are you going to believe in what God says about his son? I don't care if you got popular preachers, preachers on, on social media and saying that God don't have a son or saying that Jesus ain't the son of God. I don't care. You got to believe in what the Bible says. Jesus Christ died for your sins. He died to set you free from your sins. He is the only way for you to have eternal life. You have to believe that he is the son of God. Jesus always said things like, I do the things that please my father. If he's doing the things that please his father, that means he was sent by the father. He said, I do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. My father, which is in heaven, is greater than I. He testified of the father and the father testified of him. Who you going to believe? It's either Jesus or nothing. You either going to believe Jesus or you're going to die in your sins and be eternally separated from God in hell. It's that serious. This is a salvation issue. It's a salvation issue because if you don't have Jesus in your life because of your unbelief, you will be lost. But God don't want you to be lost. That is exactly why he sent Jesus Christ so that you don't have to be lost. If you are going to a church that don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, it's time for you to do some soul searching and to become bold and walk away. It's that serious. It's that serious. Your salvation is more important than church membership. A lot of people probably frown upon me saying that, but your salvation with God is more important and more important than your church membership. If that church ain't teaching sound doctrine, if they're not teaching about Jesus Christ as being a sacrifice for your sins, if they're not talking about him being the son of God, you need to walk away because that's going to doom you. Any denomination, any organization that does not believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, do not believe that Jesus Christ was sinless, do not believe in the virgin birth, his death, his burial, and his physical resurrection, anybody that do not believe in that, it's on their way to the, to the pits of hell if they do not repent. That is truth right there. That's not me being mean, but that is me telling you the honest to God truth. Without Jesus, there is no hope. Literally, no hope at all. God has declared that he sent Jesus Christ to die for our sins. And we don't believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. We are calling God a liar straight to his face when we say that. And he sees it. 
and we shall be judged for it. So it's time for us to reconsider the way that we believe. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, go back to the word of God and see. Go back and see how Jesus fulfilled all of the prophecies spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Go back and see it. And see how Jesus fulfilled everything. Everything that the prophecy said Jesus Christ was going to come and do, he came and did it. Stop believing what man is saying. A lot of these organizations were started by a man. It was started by a man that received a vision from Satan and now have deceived so many people. That's why so many of the different denominations got different belief systems. And most of them don't believe Jesus Christ is the son of God. It is a lot of confusion out there. It is time for us to separate ourselves from that folly and start serving God and his truth. Because it is God's truth that's going to set you free, not your denomination. It is God's truth that's going to set you free by the power of his son, Jesus Christ. I will proclaim Jesus Christ's name until I die or until I am raptured. I will not be ashamed of Jesus Christ as being a son of God. He is my savior and he wants to be your savior as well. So if you're one of those that don't believe, it's time for you to believe. Humble yourself under the mighty hands of God. Search the scriptures for they testify of Jesus. All the sacrifices in the Old Testament was a, was a symbol of what Jesus was going to come and do when he gave himself as the ultimate sacrifice. Hallelujah. Please, let's believe in what God says in his word. Please, you are worth it. God gave his best for you. He gave his best through the son, through his son, Jesus. It's time for you to embrace what God has done for you. It's time you believe in Jesus Christ because without faith, it is impossible to please him. Please, it's not too late for you. It's not too late. You still have a chance. You still have opportunities. You still have a chance to get your life right. God says, not my will that anyone should perish, but that all come to repentance. God don't want to send you to hell. He don't want you to be banished from his presence. He wants you to be in his presence. But you're going to have to believe in Jesus Christ as the son of God. You're going to have to believe that through, through only through Jesus Christ do you have forgiveness of sin. Only through Jesus Christ do you have salvation. Only through Jesus Christ can you be reconciled to God. There is no other way. There is no other way. There ain't no shortcuts. Okay? There ain't no shortcuts. It's either Jesus or nothing. If it ain't Jesus then you're lost. It's not, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you the truth on this channel. I'm not going to pat you on the back and say, oh, it's going to be okay because God going to hold me accountable for that. I am a servant of the most high God and I love him with everything that I have. And I want to tell you the truth. Believe in Jesus, please. He is the son of God. Your belief in Jesus will not be in vain. Your belief in Jesus is, will be a credit to you as righteousness. Hallelujah. Believe in Jesus Christ. Turn your back from sin. Turn your back on sin. Go the other way. Follow Jesus. Believe on Jesus and you will be okay. Believe in God the Father whom he sent and you will be okay. Okay? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy and your truth. Thank you for everything that you have done for us, Lord God. Lead us and guide us unto your truth, Lord. For without you, we are nothing. We ask you, Lord God, to forgive us of our sins, Lord God. Lord God, teach us your ways. Show us your ways, Lord God. Hallelujah. Unite our heart to fear your name, Lord God, because we need you. Teach us your plain path of righteousness, Lord God. We seek your face and your kindness. Without you, we know we cannot make it, but with you, we can overcome everything. 
We thank you, O Heavenly Father, Lord God, for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. We thank you for your grace and your mercy and your compassion that has embraced us, that has surrounded us. O oh God, we ask you to heal us, Lord God, if we have anything in our bodies, Lord God, that's causing us pain. Heal us, Lord God. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, faith warriors, let's continue to fight the good fight of faith and let us lay hold onto eternal life. Jesus forever. Bye-bye.